Hi everyone, Angela here. You may have seen my tutorial for this hanging tea towel I designed. This video today is not really a tutorial as I just want to address some concerns about the fact that I cut out a perfectly good tea towel in half. Some of you think that it won't be useful anymore, but don't worry, you don't have to. I did that because it's less bulky and easier to sew, especially for beginners. Instead, fold your tea towel in half with wrong sides together and crease it down the middle. Fold it in half again to find the center and mark it. Then make the rest of your marks. Turn your towel around and then fold your pleats as if you only have one layer. And then hold that edge in place with clips. To make this hanging tea towel, I'm cutting up an old pair of jeans. Because the fabric's quite thick, I'll cut the front band a little bit shorter, 5 inches instead of 8, as I won't need to fold it into 4 layers. Fold right sides together and stitch with a half inch seam allowance down that long edge. Then press the seam open and turn right side out. Here I've done a double top stitch along the edges and left the seam down the center in the back. Now you can see when attaching the tea towel to the fabric, it's a little bit bulkier along this edge. Once done, you can see that the corners are a lot thicker and it's much harder to get a smooth edge on each side. If you're going to use denim, avoid using stretch denim like I have here as it was a bit tricky to sew. So everyone, here you have it. Use of a full tea towel. And then for the final touch, I'm just going to sew on the band one of these butterflies that I made the other day. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out the full tutorial on how to make these hanging tea towels. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.